This is the original Ted Baker uh, woman. It's the eau de toilette. Um, this, if you look, if you're looking on for a grand cur, this will look really different because um, the original woman is in like a super odd little bottle. Um, it's like a kind of. I'm just looking at it now. It's like a a frosted bottle with a strange kind of um, blue wrap with lots of little cutouts, circular cutouts in it. But um, they have the same notes. Um, this is the this is the box they come in now, and I will show you real quick the back because as you can see it includes some of the notes this is not all of the notes at all but um, citrus apple cinnamon vetiver musk there's way more going on in this perfume <laughs> than just that that's a yeah that's not really explaining the whole thing so these are the bottles you can get now these are the newer bottles I'll put this back on just for reference okay so this Ted Baker woman, this is a, I mean, it's weird because it's not really vintage smelling, but to me it's slightly vintage smelling. And the reason being that there's something very, very sweet and powdery about this that puts it in the same wheelhouse when I first smell it, when it's first sprayed, as Jill Sanders' Sun and Cacherelle's Lulu. It has that same heavy sweet floral powdery um vibe to it that sorry if you heard that that was my phone let me just turn this on to silent um so i didn't think i'd be able to wear this to be honest because i can't wear either of those perfumes i'm not really i'm not a fan of them particularly but yeah they make me feel a bit uncomfortable there's something a bit weird about them and i'll tell you what else this reminds me of this also reminds me if i'm sniffing it from the bottle and when it's first sprayed it reminds me of the obsessed intense from calvin klein and that's the one that I, you know that also reminds me of like lulu and um uh, sun and it's i just found it quite overwhelming this one however is way lighter so when I sprayed this on the card, I was like, no, mm -mm, no, this is not going to be for me. But when I sprayed it on my skin, it didn't keep that very intense, what I find cloyingly sweet kind of powderiness. It calmed down a little bit and then it became like quite rummy. Okay, so let me read you the notes. So, top notes, bergamot, lemon, rum, peach, tangerine and apple middle notes freesia lily jasmine ylang ylang and cinnamon base notes vetiver musk and vanilla so yeah this one it's definitely got a slightly odd and i would say 80s vibe to when you first spray it um and there's something about the florals in it also in a little way remind me of tommy girl and that's another one that i can't wear there's something about it that makes me feel sick um and it's really hard to explain why but there's something about the sweetness of the florals that bothers me however when this one dries down that kind of floral bouquet kind of turns a little bit less powdery and then you get something a bit more animalic so the, there's like a musk coming in there it's not like dirty but i can definitely smell there's a slight animatic kind of vibe but then it starts getting like into a kind of non boozy syrupy sweet rum kind of flavor almost if you had like um some kind of rum rum syrup that you'd kind of boiled down and you were like putting on pancakes or you know crepes or something that kind of vibe and i can smell the cinnamon then as well but it's light all of this is happening in quite a light way um yeah but it is i'd say it's a bit mature this one it's slightly mature and I can I can kind of understand why a lot of people don't like it, but I <clears throat> I think if you like Joe Van Musk or well obviously Sun Lulu um, Obsessed all of those kind of perfumes, if you like a kind of more classic but very sweet perfume, if you like kind of sweet powdery florally perfumes, if you just like rum notes and cinnamon and that kind of thing, then you might like this one. 
this one I think I might keep but it'll definitely have to go in my winter uh, thingies because even though it's light it's not the kind of scent that I want to smell because it's cozy I don't want to smell something cozy in summer generally speaking yeah from the bottle there's something about it that makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable but once it dried down on my skin I actually kept sniffing it and quite liked it um, but it's definitely very sweet so yeah this is this is an acquired taste not necessarily a safe blind by this one I would say